Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? Well, it is officially Christmas Eve. Now, I know for you watching this vlog, this vlog is the December 23rd vlog, which it is, but it is 1.26 a.m., so it is officially Christmas Eve, and, um, oh my God, the Raycon of Singers. I love the Raycon of Singers. They've been, like, my favorite uh, go-to music on Sirius Radio on Channel 73 Holiday Traditions, Jazz, Standard, and Classic. Classical. <laughs> Jazz, Standard, and Classical. 73 Holiday Traditions, Raycon of Singing. White Christmas. <laughs> anyway, uh, today has been a long day, you guys. Oh my God, it has been so long. Um, I got up today and it has been like really warm in Indianapolis. It's 30 degrees right now. I think it's supposed to be like 58 tomorrow or something, which I was really hoping the snow would stay on the ground all through Christmas Eve, but that's not the case. There's still a little bit of snow. Um, I'm sure tomorrow it will completely melt though. But, um, so I got up today and I was dealing with the dogs, took the dogs out, outside and got PB his medicine and all that kind of stuff. PB is like, he was a little bit better tonight. We're very worried about PB. Um, he is uh, not coughing anymore, which is good. But he's super lethargic and he was vomiting a lot. And we have been mixing his food up with like chicken and rice and we had given him chicken and rice and stuff to eat because we, you know, wanted to make sure that he was eating something which he eats. He has an appetite. He just doesn't like this food. And so we have been giving him chicken and rice and I don't know. So anyway, because the vet had said that that was fine, um, like if, to get him to eat, but she just didn't want him on a re regular diet of that. So tonight we put him back on his... Um, fully regular food and of course he snapped it and didn't want to eat, eat any of it but um, he seems to be doing better today but he's just been really lethargic like he is just like sleeping all the time and like even like when I'm taking the dogs outside he just sits on the step like he doesn't want to go outside so I have to like pick him up and carry him outside so I don't know um, like both of us have been very very worried about him I'm trying to kind of just, you know, it's sad. You know, I'm sitting there and I'm like, this is probably more than likely our last Christmas with PP, you know, and um, I'm truly just, really, truly just trying to enjoy the time with him. And, but then like I got, like I was doing a live stream tonight and he like ran down the stairs and then he was like looking at me and if I say like, you want a treat or something, he's like, he perks up and so, I don't know. Maybe it's just that, you know, he was exhausted today because he had been, like, like throwing up last night and stuff. That could be that, too. You know, like he's just under the weather. And it's hard, like, when you have a dog that has heart disease and kidney disease because then you don't know. Is it, like, okay, is this the heart disease and the kidney disease or is he just sick? Like, you know, it could be that he just, you know, has, like, stomach problems because of the food or something. And then, um, you know, anyway, so... I don't know. We'll see how he is tomorrow. Little guy. He doesn't, like, seem like... Like, this morning when I woke up, he seemed completely fine. He just seems tired. Like, he's really tired. You know, like, I was talking to Tanya, and I was like... You know, when you look at, like, end-stage heart disease, like, the symptoms, the only symptom he has is being lethargic. The rest is... Like, he has an appetite, but he just... Like, if I had put down chicken and rice tonight, he would have eaten the chicken and rice. He just doesn't like this food. And he eats his treats and stuff like that. So he has an appetite. There's like, you know, all these like 10 like symptoms of a dog that's like an end stage heart failure. He doesn't have any of those except for that he's lethargic. Well, the other thing is, is that PP is always tired. You know, he's always been tired. He sleeps a lot and then he stays up all night long. So who knows? Anyway, um, let's see. That was today, and I just kind of wanted to be around him a little bit this morning, so I hung out with him and the dogs and whatever. And Boo and Tucker seem to kind of be, like, unaware. So, that awesome... Like, Tucker's usually very, very careful of PP, and he seems to be kind of unaware that... So, I'm thinking maybe PP's... I mean, I'm not like, you know... Obviously, the dog is not the vet, but I'm like... Like, he's very playful with PP and stuff, so... 
Boo Radley just kind of has no clue whatsoever about the world, except for when I took the dogs out tonight, and there was this puppy coming down the street, this black lab puppy, and the woman was so nice, but the dog's like, Boo Radley's like, oh, he's like going crazy, you know? But anyway, um, so it is what it is, but yeah, that was what I did. I hung out with the dogs and just kind of like was around the house and like in bed with the dogs and stuff for a while and hung out in the bed with Pee Pee for a long time. And then I went and I got a coffee and I run a ran a bunch of errands. I had to go to the post office. You guys, I literally have like four packages in the pack in the back. I have like three packages at home, four packages in the back that people have sent me, and I was gonna go through it tonight on the vlog, but I like literally was like filming, 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 live stream, and it just was like six hours constant, and I was like, okay, I need to just like go get a fountain pop with Tanya Jean, so I did that. Um, so tomorrow I will show, I'm gonna open all the packages and show them tomorrow, and it was really sweet. You guys are so nice. You don't have to do that. You don't just don't feel like you have to send me anything. I actually got like 20 cards, and I sat down, and this was really nice. Before I got on the live stream, because I like went and got eggnog for the live stream, because I did like eggnog and opinions, but it really wasn't opinions. It was just like me talking. But anyway, I went and, um, oh, I got the eggnog. That was later tonight. But I sat down on the couch with Pee Pee and Tucker. Boo Radley was like down in his house hanging out. And um, I think, anyway, I, I don't know where he was, but he wasn't like on the couch and he wasn't upstairs, so I think he was down in his house. But anyway, he goes down there and just sits for long periods of time. And um, he likes being in there. I don't know what that's about. He always has been, ever since he's been a little puppy. But, um, so I was sitting on the couch with Tucker and Pee Pee and I was reading all of the cards. You guys were so sweet. I, I mean, everybody sent me such nice cards and some people like included like really long letters and stuff like that. So I sat there and I read everything and it was just really nice. And I will read those on, um, the video too that I do where I like do the PO unboxing. You guys, you know what's so funny is I did this vlog, I don't know how long ago it was, but it was where I went through all of like the PO box stuff and somebody commented on the video. It's like I only received like one comment about this and I had called I had titled the video um oh, I had titled it um what do you call it? Uh PR <laughs> unboxing instead of which like I just done that video, you know, on my Peter Mon channel talking about PR and stuff and like, you know, and receiving PR and I had called it PR unboxing, <laughs> which is not what I meant, but I kept it up there. I thought that was so fun. I think I kept it up there. I kept the title up there. I thought it was so funny, but anyway, so that was nice, but I ran around today. I had to go to the post office and all of this was in this the Castleton Mall area, which is like this huge mall, and it was like all through there I had to go. I had to go to Costco, which that was like forever, and then I had to run to pick up, run to, I ran to pick up Alex's Christmas present. Um, there were a couple things I wanted to get him, one of which I'm not gonna say until after Christmas, but um, one of the things I wanted to get him was the new AirPods because we have used ours now for a long time and he uses his all the time. Like at work, in the car, talking to him. He uses his, well I don't think in the car he does, but like at home he's always got him on and he's like talking to people and listening to music and if I'm making videos, like he'll sit upstairs and like, you know, listen um, to like music and lay there and rest or he'll, um, you know, like do stuff in the closet and whatever and like he's got his head, like his AirPods on. So I wanted to get the second generation, which is the AirPod Pros, because we both love ours so much. But the other reason is, is that you can charge them on just like a flat charger. You don't have to have them plugged in and they have noise cancellation. And I've read like a lot of reviews about them. Well, I went to Best Buy today thinking that it would just be easy peasy to go pick them up, but they're out of them completely. And the guy was like really nice that helped me. I actually like, I couldn't find them anywhere and I kept on running around, running around and I kept on looking like in specific areas. And it was funny because this kid came in and he was probably like 20 or something. And he was like going to the exact same places. And so like finally I followed him because he like stopped in front of this case. And he was like in front of him. And I go, oh my God, I said. And then his mom came up and she was with him too. And she was like, you found him. And I said, I knew, I was following you. I, I could tell you you were looking for the exact same thing I was looking for. And so she was telling me that she got them at Costco, the AirPod 2s, but that they had just ran out. And I go, oh my God, I would have gone there and got them if I, I was just there. She goes, well, they're out of them now. So we came over here because they didn't have any more left. 
So, they didn't have any AirPod 2s, though. They only had the AirPod 1s. And the guy was real nice, but he was like, yeah, he was like, and I said, well, can I order them online, or is there another, he goes, no, I said, is there another store that has them? He goes, no, none of the other stores have them. We're all out of them. We haven't gotten any more shipments, and we're not going to until January 12th. And he's like, that's what the email will say if you order them online, is that you won't be able to pick them up or get them in the mail until January 12th. And I was like, oh, okay. So, anyway, maybe a Valentine's Day present. We'll see. We'll see. And Alex was like, I told him, and he was like, we don't need new AirPods. And I was like, I know we don't need new AirPods, but I want new, because I was going to get myself a pair too. But I was like, I want them for the plane because they're noise canceling. And I will say the one thing about the AirPods, like the first one on planes, like you can like, if you're listening to like a book or if you're listening to a movie or whatever on your phone, it's almost impossible to hear. Like it doesn't cancel out the noise at all. I mean, all you hear is the plane behind you. So it almost like, makes the sound of the plane more intense. So, um, I've got one other thing I'm going to get him tomorrow, and then that's it. Because of the trip, we're just not, not doing a whole lot of stuff. Oh, I did buy these, I think I talked about it on here, I don't know if I did already or not, but I bought, um, these books, and I got him one too. So the first one was, my friend told me about the five minute gratitude journal, and it's like, you can get it in hardback or paperback, but my friend was like, just get it in paperback. It's no different than the hardback. And he's like, it's a lot cheaper. It's $5.99 on Amazon. You can get it, on, they have it on Amazon Prime. I mean, it came literally in a day. And so I ordered one for Alex and one for me. And it's like, it has three prompts in the morning and three prompts in the evening. And he just lifts three things and it takes five minutes. And so I got Alex one too, because he's always wanted to work on stuff like that. And then I got another one, and it's like just like a journal, and it has like lined papers inside, and it says like 2020 is my year or something like that. So I got him one of those, and then I got a, a couple's gratitude journal where you go through there as a couple at the end of the day, and you list things that you're like grateful for with the other person. It's really cool, but that hasn't come yet. Actually, I'm kind of um, a little worried because I was like, I could not find my receipt for this thing that I bought Caroline's son, which is really cool. But I think, like, I think it says it's been delivered already. And I'm like, did they deliver it to one of my neighbors? And like, that's fine, right? Because my neighbors would bring it. But here's the problem in our neighborhood is that if they by accident delivered it to one of our neighbors, a lot of our neighbors, because they're older, they're, like, not there in the winter. Like, they go to Florida in the winter or Arizona, right? So, I won't even know, like, if it got delivered to, like, a similar address. So, you know what I mean? Like, I won't even know. And then it's like, well, where is it on the street? Like, am I supposed to just drive up and down the street and look for a package and guess that it could be for me? I mean, you know, what am I supposed to do? So... I'm hoping either somebody brings it to my door and it's like, oh, this was delivered to us by accident, or, like, Alex had something that was delivered by accident to, like, the house across the street and over from us the other day, and he went and got it from there. But I'm gonna have to call the company tomorrow. Hopefully, they'll be awake. They'll be awake. Hopefully, they'll be open and find out, like, what the deal is with that, because if not, I have nothing for him for Christmas. I'm gonna have to go tomorrow and get something for him. So that's that, and then I still have to get Mike, Caroline's husband, something. Alex's whole family we've already bought for. Oh, I still have to get the kids something. Carlos and Liliana, or Carlos and Sebastian. I still have to go tomorrow and get them something. I'll probably just go to Meyer or Walmart and get them something tomorrow. Of course, that will be real fun. You know, do you remember back in the day, like, last minute shopping for Christmas Eve was always, um, like, so dead. There was, like, nobody, like, Christmas shopping. But now it's, like, Christmas Eve is, like, packed. It's like you don't want to go to the mall, but I'm going to think, I think tomorrow I'm going to get like a fun little, like I might do actual a holiday drink tomorrow and then go get some last minute cross Christmas shopping done. Alex has to too for like, he's like, I have to do all your Christmas shopping tomorrow. So I think he and Sarah probably will go Christmas shopping tomorrow. And then we don't have Christmas Eve dinner in, at my in-laws until eight o'clock, which is fantastic for me because... I can make some videos, I can do some shopping, I can have my coffee, I can relax, I can watch some Christmas movies and stuff, and then he'll come home and we can spend some time together. <laughs> some romantical Christmas time. And then um, I think maybe we might open our presents on Christmas Eve tomorrow. I think we might do that instead of Christmas Day. He doesn't care. He'd open them on the 10th of December if he already had them. So, um, we always wait till Christmas Day, and that was, like, my thing. But I don't think we need to do that. Last year, oh, my God, I totally forgot about this. 
so one year, I like made such a big deal out of going and buying him all these things for st and stocking stuffers, you know. And he didn't get me anything. And I was all completely thrown out by it, right? I was like, I can't believe you didn't get me anything in my stocking stuffers. Like, my, my stocking, I love my stocking. Like, I never get anything in my stocking. And he felt real bad about it, right? And um, so the next year, like, I think that was last year. Like, my stocking was completely full. Like, he did all this really nice stuff for it. And because, <laughs> of course, I had, you know... <laughs> I was like, I am. I can't believe I didn't get a stocking or something like that. He goes, well, I thought. I think he, he said. I thought we said we weren't going to do that anymore or something. And so, I mean, ridiculous. Anyway, who cares that I could, you know, didn't get anything in my stocking? I don't need any more candy, and that's the kind of stuff we give to each other, right? So, um, last year I didn't do anything for the stocking because I kind of forgotten, and I kind of was like, oh, I guess we're not doing anything, right? And so I didn't. But maybe. I want to get him a cologne. Like, I want to get Alex a really, really nice cologne. But I don't know what to get him. Because, yeah, I don't know what to get him. I was actually thinking about, like, it's just a lot of money. I spent a lot of money on his gift today. But I really, like, he wouldn't care either way. He has, like, so many new colognes. But I was thinking about, maybe I'll get him Angel for Men. Because I love that Angel for Men. But it just doesn't smell good on me. Um, but I like it on other people. Maybe I'll get him that. Maybe I'll just go to Saks. Oh, my. Oh! I forgot. Oh, he, he'll, he will be like, why did you get me another cologne? Um... Because I just got three from Perfume Mania and he doesn't need it. But I forgot that when I um, bought my colognes, I got a twenty, I got a fifty dollar gift card from Saks. So I'm gonna go there tomorrow. But I don't know what I'll get him. I was actually for my sobriety birthday. I was talking, thinking about buying a a new wallet or something. But I mean, like, I don't need a new wallet. My wallet that I've had this Gucci wallet, I've had like for like eight years, and it's like still like holding up. Like I don't need a new wallet. doesn't need a new wallet. I think last year, was it last year I bought him a new Louis Vuitton wallet? He took it back and he exchanged it for one he really liked. Um, I don't really know what he needs. He loves shoes, but shoes at Saks are so expensive. I'm not doing that. I don't know. Maybe I'll see if there's a clone. Because a clone will be pretty reasonable. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And then there's one other thing I want to get him. Well, he loves gift cards, so I'm thinking about maybe like getting him like a gift card somewhere because then he can like enjoy it and spend money. He'll probably maybe he can buy some stuff that he can, you know, for the trip or whatever. So anyway, um, yeah. So that was I went and I ran errands, but really I was caught in traffic for like an hour and a half today because it was so hard getting around anywhere. And let me just tell you something, okay? Do you ever like want to talk on the phone but like nobody is like, everybody's busy? That was my day today. I literally had like nobody to talk to on the phone today. I called everybody in the world that I knew and I finally just was like, and I didn't want to listen to Christmas music. I'm kind of starting to get burnt out on it in all honesty the night before Christmas Eve. And um, so what else did I do today? Oh, earlier... Late last night when I got home, and then again today, tonight, or t this morning, I watched, um, I'm watching The Box of Delights on YouTube, which is one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. Somebody sent me the book last year, and the book is by John Maysfield. It's absolutely gorgeous, the copy of this book they sent me. I mean, it's so pretty, and I almost don't want to, like, read it, read it, because it's so pretty, but um, I pulled it out, and I put a bookmark in it, and I started reading it, and I got a little bit into it, and then, like, it just sat there on the island, because I just haven't really been reading. I haven't been listening to audiobooks or really anything the last week. Um... I, the Christmas book, the, I guess I need to listen to it tonight, maybe a little bit, because tomorrow's Christmas Eve, but this really, I'm kind of like, honestly, like, I'm a little, I'm, I'm really excited about Christmas Eve with my family, I'm really excited about Christmas Day with Caroline and stuff, but like, I'm kind of christmas out, as far as like, Christmas movie and Christmas, all that kind of stuff, like, I'm kind of ready for the 26th, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, I'm kind of ready to move into January and the goals and all that kind of stuff, so... 
like I'm ready for Christmas, like in celebrating Christmas. I'm really excited about that. But I do with, wish that Fufu and Jesse were coming home, though. I'm kind of sad that they're not going to come home for Christmas, but they can't come home for everything and every year, you know? I think it's hard when you live far away and it's so expensive to travel, you know, especially this time of year. But just means we need to schedule another trip to go see them in, um, I'm gonna use the coffee this time, the coffee lip balm. It just means we need to schedule another trip to go see them in San Diego. I love San Diego, I'm ready to go back. Alex was like, we could go for our birthdays. I'm like, <laughs> I want to go to Aruba or Grand Cayman or Turks and Caicos. I've been looking at Turks and Caicos. I really want to go there. So I'm thinking we might do that for our birthday. Um, and Or Grand Cayman. We'll see. I, we'll see. I need to look at these trips and see like really how expensive they are to do them. Um, I would like Alex to see Grand Cayman because I think he would just be blown away with how gorgeous it is. And I went with my very first boyfriend, well, like long-term boyfriend, and my dad and my stepmom. And we went to uh, Grand Cayman, and it just was like we were blown away. Like, I mean, Seven Mile Beach is just fantastic. It's so beautiful. And I looked to find some Airbnbs, or I looked online to see some Airbnbs, and there really weren't a lot that I just loved. So, um, my nose is really starting to itch. Um... I can never, I think it's when I talk a lot, like I notice it in live streams too. I think it's because my like beard goes up and like scratches at my nose when I'm talking. I mean, I've said that on here before, but it's like, it drives me nuts. And I've literally talked for like five hours today. So it's probably part of it too. So anyway, yeah, we might go to one of those places I need to look. Um, but I want to do like some like island or something for... We've gone to Mexico, we've gone to the Dominican Republic, and you know, like then there are some islands. I really like to go to Barbados. Um, well, we have our New Year's trip, I forgot about that. Um, I'd really like to go to Barbados, but I don't really know much about it. Um, Aruba too, but Aruba's expensive. The other thing with some of these places is it literally takes like an entire day to get there. And, um, and a lot of the places, like you don't get there till three or four in the afternoon and then you lose an entire day, which it's like, okay, that's fine. Right. But like, I mean, that is the thing that's easy about the Dominican Republic and Mexico. We actually have some friends of ours right now. I've been following them on Instagram. <laughs> they are in the Dominican Republic. They like took their mom there for her birthday over the weekend. Tonight's their last night. They're coming back tomorrow. It's another gay couple that we, um, like are know, that we know and we're kind of friendly with. And, um, you know, I've heard so many bad things about the Dominican Republic and how dangerous it is to go to right now. But like, I was looking at the, the beach is gorgeous right now. And I was like, damn, like, you know, I wish I had thought about that, you know, for this trip. I don't know what the, you know, the danger stuff is about, but I've heard some really bad things about it. But anyway, so yeah, so I did all that and I ran around and then I came home and then I filmed videos and then Alex had a work thing that he had to do tonight. Like it was just like him and like all of the, uh, these people that he works with, the girls that he works with. And, um, for one of his jobs, they like got pizza and had like a Christmas Eve, Eve, like get together, just like sat around and he like FaceTimed me at one point and he was like, said something and I was like, oh, are you guys having fun eating wine, drink, or uh, eating pizza, drinking wine and stuff like that. And I don't know when it stopped. I like looked over and it had stopped. See, that's the weird thing. Like sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't sound off like and act like it stopped. You know what I mean? But anyway, I was talking about Alex went to this work thing tonight and it was like a, a cr Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas, Eve, Eve party thing, but not like a party like, just to get together for all of them to kind of unwind. Now that everything is like shut down for the holidays, it was like six of them that all worked together. And so they got like pizza and stuff. And um, he like FaceTimed me and I was like, oh, are you guys having fun? Just sitting around like eating pizza, drinking wine. And they're like, no, we're not, we're not, none of us are drinking tonight. They're like sitting around like eating pizza and drinking pop. And I thought Alex is just probably in seventh heaven with all of that, like sitting there. <laughs> but he was having fun. He seemed like he had a, was having a really good time and the girls were like cracking up. They had me on FaceTime and stuff like that. But anyway, and then I also did a live stream tonight for an hour. And I usually don't do this um, just because I don't think it really fits on my drama channel. 
channel, like I usually like take it down and privatize it right immediately. Not for any other reason, but it, except for the fact that it just doesn't fit over there. Like it's like, okay, drama, 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 live stream. So I always privatized it, always privatized it. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna leave it up. So I left it up for, I'm gonna leave it up till tomorrow and then I'm gonna privatize it tomorrow because it doesn't, it doesn't fit on that channel, but whatever. And, um, so yeah, so that was my day. It's been a good day. It's been a really good day. It's been like low, like I was, uh, burning candle waxes, not candle waxes, the candle warmer. I was using it all day today and I was using it with the Bed Bath & Beyond candles. Which candle did I eat? Harvest? Autumn Harvest, I think maybe is what it was called. It was like apple scented. And then I have this chestnut candle. We got the small ones of it. Oh my God, they're fantastic. And I did burn those. I burned one right next to me while I was doing the live stream next to the computer. Oh my God, what did I do? I cleaned the hell out of the kitchen today. I went through and I took all of my books and I took the ones that like I'm done with, that like I've read and um, like the four agreements and all that kind of stuff. And I took them down to the basement. There, okay, so one of the things that I'm gonna start doing going into 2020 is when I'm done with a book, like if I don't, like I'm either gonna give it away to a friend, I'm gonna donate it to the library, or I'm gonna give it to uh, Half Price Books, or I am going to keep it. So, don't, like, but I typically, if I read a book, I keep it. Well, I'm, I don't need, there's a lot of books that I love, but like in all honesty, I don't need to keep when I'm done reading it. So I was going through, I have like a stack of books that are over there that I've like read and I didn't do anything with. So they're sitting over there in the corner of the kitchen and they just piled up. Then I have all these self-help books and all my recovery books. So I like went through all of them and I like took my recovery books and I put them up in the cabinet. And then I put my self-help books and I took the ones that I was gonna read. And then like there's a Stephen Levine book, like A Year to Live, I think it's called. And I wanna read that for one of the book club books or for the Peterisms books. So I put that like up in the cabinet too. And then I took the other books and I put them away and I cleaned that whole area over there. Went through all like the bills and stuff and the things I needed to deal with and things I didn't. I cleaned up that whole corner over in the kitchen and took stuff and put it in the garage. And so now like the kitchen counters are cleaned off except for the stuff that I have to go through um, to show you guys in the vlog. So I was real happy about that because I like wanted to get stuff straight. Made the bed. I got these new um, air freshener spray, not air freshener, linen sprays from Amazon that I had ordered that came in the mail today. Sprayed the bed linens with it, sprayed upstairs and everything. It smells so good. It's pear and agave and it smells delicious. Took care of all of that and cleaned the bathroom for a little bit, put some clothes away. I just, I had a really productive day today, but I'm kind of tired now. I'm kind of like, uh, you know, but whatever. It was a good day. It was a really good day. Yeah, and I'm probably not gonna talk, and I'm not gonna vlog forever. I'm kind of surprised, honestly. This was the, uh, mm. do you ever reach into your like purse or bag and you have that emery board and your nail like scrapes across it and it's like, mm, like nails on the chalkboard? I think I have the other battery in here with me. I'm kind of surprised the battery hasn't like started flashing yet. I do have the other battery in here. I'm kind of surprised that the battery hasn't started flashing yet because this is the battery that I was using to film um, my videos today. And I think it lasts for about an hour is how long it lasts. So now tomorrow, I'm gonna really need to, well, I guess it won't matter. I just don't know how late tomorrow's gonna go. Like his family's always go so late, but I'm gonna have to vlog some throughout the day which I'm busy getting stuff done tomorrow, so I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I wanna make videos for tomorrow and videos for Christmas Day. But I'm kind of at this point, I'm like, I really wanna get videos for Christmas Day and mostly, I know this is gonna sound silly, but for the people that don't have family or anybody to spend Christmas with and I know it's corny, but like then maybe they'll have something new to go to and they can watch and not like that they have to watch me, but maybe they'll have something, you know? And um, so I wanted to make some videos for that, but I was gonna do a rant video for Christmas Day. We'll see, we'll see if I get to it or not, I don't know. I just have a lot of things I wanna get done tomorrow and I, st I wanna take a nap before, I'll have to get up at seven tomorrow evening if I take a nap, which means if I lie, if I'm lay down by 5.30, I that'll be easy, I'll get everything done tomorrow. That'll be easy. 
But then, because tomorrow night, if I, like, after we leave Alex's in-laws, I'll have to take him home. And then he'll go to bed. I thank God we don't have to get up early for Caroline's on Christmas Day. I told her that today. Oh, Caroline and I talked today. Was it today? Was it today we talked? No. So we're doing Christmas Day at 3. And I think we'll probably sit around there and hang out for a while. Because she really wanted us to do that on Thanksgiving. But then we would have had to drive all the way from where we were close by our house all the way back to her house. So we didn't do that on Christmas, on Thanksgiving because I wanted to go Black Friday shopping. Um, but we'll probably hang out there for a while. Her son's really excited about us coming. And um, her stepson and his wife is coming. So uh, Caroline's stepson and wife is coming. And they're Alex's age. So that'll be really fun. And we can um, sit around and... They always bring games. Like, her stepson and his wife are, like, really... Well, they're gamers. They play, like, video games. But they're really, really into board games as well. And they always bring, like, a new board game every year. So, that'll be fun. We can play a board game. We've never stayed and done that. So, maybe we can... Did we... We played uh, Cornhole or Bags, what some people call it. Alex and I were driving somewhere. Where were we when I was like, oh, look, they're playing Bags. Oh, it was to pick up Sarah the other day. So, yeah, that'll be fun on Christmas Day, and then we'll come home and, you know, go relax and go to sleep and nap and all that kind of stuff, and then the 26th is Christmas, or the day after Christmas, and then it's all over, and it seems like it's been going on forever, and then we have to get ready for our trip. So, um, and then we have the weekend, so we've got a couple days to get ready for our trip, and... For me to detox my entire body and run 10 miles a day so I can be beach ready in four days. <laughs> oh, as if, as if I'm going to be beach ready in four days. That is some hilarious stuff, Peter. You are, you are so funny. Peter, did you, you are a comedian. <laughs> but I am, re I am ready to get out of town. I just, the only thing, I, if like, if PB was a lot better than he is, which maybe he will be by then, you know, I would feel 100% like, let's go today, but I'm kind of excited. I don't remember the last time I've traveled around that time. I think the last time I went out of town, well, I mean, I've gone, like, like New Year's Eve, I've gone to Louisville with my friend Liz, we went, and there was, what else? I've gone to Chicago for New Year's, like one year and stuff. I think Alex and I have been in Indianapolis every year that we've ever gone to. Have we been in Indianapolis every year for New Year's? I think so. And I haven't been out of town for years in a long time. So I think this is like the first time in a long time. So it'll be fun, I'm excited. It'll be a good time. Yep. It's going to be kind of weird, though, I think, like traveling at that time. I wonder if it'll be really busy. I got to figure out what movies I want to watch, like on the plane. I was like looking so I can figure out what um, movies I want to, because I always go on iTunes, you know, and buy the movies. Okay, so Trixie, I like documentaries. Y'all know I love documentaries, and I'll watch a documentary about anything. I don't care what it is. I have not, I'm like not finished that Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican transgender pageant that's called I Am the Queen. That is so fantastic, that documentary. And they are also supportive of each other. At the end, two of them get, like, two of these girls get in kind of, like, an argument with each other. But they don't hate each other. It's very sweet. Um, so, I mean, it's sweet. I mean, they're sweet. But it's, they're, it's a sad story, you know? Like, it's just, they really, like, struggle. And they're, like, in danger. And it's just, it's a really good documentary. But anyway, I already talked about that on here. So, go check it out. I Am The Queen. It's on Amazon Prime. Or Amazon or the, the Prime or whatever that is. But anyway, I really... Oh, I should download like an episode or two of... What's that show called? 
that's the reason I got the Hulu or the Amazon Prime, the Hulu was for uh, The Handmaid's Tale. And I haven't watched even one episode of it, and that's why I got that damn Hulu. But anyway, I'm going to, um, I wanted to see Trixie Mattel's, I think it's called Moving Parts. And it's about the Trixie Mattel from RuPaul's Drag Race. It's supposed to be really good. And then there's a documentary out about the musician Lil Peep who died. And it's about like his upbringing and his, they show pieces of his mom in it and his friends. And I don't know much about him, but um, it looks like the documentary looks, I think it's called Everything is Everything or something like that. It looks really, really interesting. So I'm thinking about watching that too. And then last night I went, I should actually pull in here and you guys should tell me which ones to watch. I'm going to do that. Hold on a second. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll just keep on driving. Keep on driving. Don't stop. No. Um, I went in and wrote down every movie that is a possibility for an Oscar contender. So I'm gonna download some of those movies. I think I'm gonna buy the. I think I'm gonna buy Joker because I haven't seen that and it looks really good. And everybody's told me that it's fantastic. And Joaquin Phoenix is kind of like a sure thing for an Academy Award, maybe a nominee. So I'm gonna. Uh, I want to get that movie. And then I really want to see that movie that just came out with Adam Sandler. They're saying that he's possibly gonna be get a um, Best Actor nominee nomination, and it's called. Gemstones or something like that. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I want to see that. There's a lot of movies out that I like that are up for Oscars. When I started looking at it, I was like, oh, there's a lot of good movies that I want to see. Um, so if you have a movie that you think I definitely need to see, but it also has to be an Oscar contender. Like it has to be something that you think like it definitely will be like a contender for an, an Academy Award nom nomination. I don't care if it's a winner or not. I just want to, I want to see all the movies that are nominated this year. So, and it's like a couple of them that they said will get nominated aren't even out yet, like Little Women. Tanya is so excited about seeing Little Women. She's like, I cannot wait to see Little Women. It's supposed to be so good and blah, 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 whatever. I'm like, okay. Um, something's on my tooth. So anyway, um, I mean, I'm excited about seeing that too, but I like, so I made a list. It's like 20 movies, this list. Charlize Theron is in some movie called Bombshell. Have you guys heard of this? I haven't heard of it either, but it's supposed to be really good. When I went through this list, I went through like three different lists, and I would say collectively, they they said about nine, eight or nine, ten movies that they thought could be Best Picture contenders. And two of the movies are foreign uh, language movies. I think one of them is Japanese. Um, I can't remember what it's called. The Member, maybe? Or something like that? Maybe two of them are Japanese. Like, one of them is kind of like a scary thing. A scary movie. And, um... Another one is, like... About this grandmother who is dying. And so... They don't want her... She doesn't know that she's dying. And so to get everybody to be able to come and say goodbye to her one last time, they, um, like, fake a wedding. And they're all planning this wedding. It's supposed to be really good. Um, I might download that. I don't love subtitled movies because my eyes have to strain to watch, to read the, um, the captions. But... But I don't mind it either. I'll do it, you know? Um... There's like a Pedro Almodovar movie too that's up for an Academy Award, or that they think is going to be up for an Academy Award. And they also said that, what's his name? I can't think of his name, but he's in like all of those. Um, Javier, it's not Javier Bardem. Antonio Banderas. He got his start in those Pedro Almodovar movies. Do you guys remember those movies back in the day? I used to always watch them. So anyway, I need some movie suggestions. So can you guys give me movie suggestions in the comment section below? Any movie that's come out in the last year or two that you think that I should see? Um, 
that you think I would really, really like. I love action thrillers that are kind of like mystery thrillers and whatever. So if you have a suggestion for that, please let me know and I will um, possibly watch that. And um, blah, 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 blah. my beard is itching. But I do, I want some movie recommendations. So let me know in the comment section below. And then I will uh, possibly download some of those movies or buy them on iTunes or whatever, rent them on iTunes. And if I don't find anything, then I'll just rent The Art of Racing in the Rain again. I really want to see that, but I don't want to see it if it's going to make me super sad. You know what I mean? Which I already know the whole story, so I'm sure it'll make me super sad. Whenever I say super anything, I always remember this friend of mine that I used to work with. She and I were like co-counselors at one point. She got laughing so hard telling me the story. She and her husband, they like one night ordered from this restaurant here in town. I think it was the Psalms restaurant. And so, and they like ordered like steaks or something, right? And they were doing carry out. And so the woman on the phone said, I don't know why I always think of this. This story is literally like probably 20 years old and I still remember it. And she said, I don't even think my friend, if like I talk, I haven't talked to her in years, but I don't, I mean, it's probably been 10 years since I've talked to her, but I bet even if I said it to her today, she wouldn't remember it. But anyway, so she's like orders the stuff and the food and the woman at the end is like, do you want a super salad? I've told this on here before. It's so stupid, but I always like, whenever I say the word super, I always think of this. <laughs> So just imagine how many times a day I think of the story, a lot. So anyway, at the end, she had done ordering her steaks and whatever, steak and potato, and the woman was like, do you want a super salad with that? And my friend was like, um, yeah, sure. And she was like, okay, which one? And my friend was like, what do you mean? And she was like, do you want a super salad with that? <laughs> and my friend thought she was saying super, like S-U-P-E-R salad, like a huge salad. Instead of soup, S U P S S U P S O U P space or O R space S A L A D salad. Like soup or would you like a salad? She thought she was saying super salad. And this went back and forth for like a couple minutes until she finally figured it out. Isn't that so funny? I don't know why that's so funny. It's dumb little things like that that make me so happy that make me laugh about the world. <laughs> It is so corny. It really, to be honest with you, like looking at this dry pavement, it does not seem like Christmas Eve to me at all. I'm going to have to like, when I get home, I, I need to eat something. I'm really hungry actually. And um, I just, all I've had today is these two cookies that I had on my live stream. Um, I need to get something to eat. When I, um, what was I going to say now? I don't even remember. Maybe I'll go by the Meyer and get some hummus. When I, um, back in the day, I would be so excited about Christmas Eve. I always, like when I worked in treatment, I always took it off. So I'd have Christmas Eve off. Well, this was before my mom and I and my ex started going out of town every year for, um, what do you call it? For, uh, uh, shoot, I can't, uh, for Gatlinburg, uh, we would, um, and we always left on, like, the 23rd, so we would wake up on Christmas Eve in, like, Gatlinburg, we would be in our cabin, and we would wake up there Christmas Eve, and, uh, I'll tell you about that in a second, so, but anyway, um, Christmas Eve back in the day, like, when we didn't do that, I would go, like, shop, I would go shopping and do all this kind of stuff, and then I'd always be pressed to the last minute to, like, be wrapping presents and get everything done to the very, very last minute, you know? Which was kind of fun, but it was also kind of like, I always was stressed out too, which is why I'm like really excited about tomorrow that we don't have to be there till super late. Because if I get up early enough, I mean, I won't get up super early, but if I get up early enough, then I can, um, I can, you know, um, get the stuff done that I want to get done tomorrow. So that'll be nice. Anyway, okay. Um, 
because back in the day, I would just be like stressed out. Like, I can't believe it's Christmas Eve and I don't have everything done yet. And it's like, whatever, s stop stressing out. You'll be fine. You know what? Maybe if I went to, oh my God, Peter, this nose is driving me crazy. Maybe if I went to Meyer tonight and I got some hummus and some chips to take home and eat, then I could get Mike. I'm getting him a gift card, I think, to Lowe's. And then um, I can... I don't know what I'm going to get David tomorrow if this... I can't find where his present is or if it has been... I don't know what the deal is with that. But then... I got to look on the time. Okay. Because um, I didn't hear it the last time. Um, and then I can get the kids something, Carlos and Sebastian. And then I can get the food. And then I'll be done tomorrow. And I won't have to go to Meyer. And then all I'll have to do is get Alex's thing. And Alex is one thing that I want to get him. Um, I'm probably going to get him a gift card at Urban Outfitters. Um, or what's the thing he likes online? Zara. He loves that Zara. Oh, my God. On Black Friday shopping, he bought, spent $100 and got like six or eight things. He was so excited. So maybe... I'll get him a gift card for Zara. But if I go to um, Urban Outfitters, I'll be able to find something for David that he would like. So, anyway. Because um, they have, like, fun stuff there. T-shirts and kind of different kind of stuff. So, maybe I'll find him something there. We'll see. Then he'll get all kinds of Christmas presents because he'll be getting that and the other stuff. Okay. And then... Let's see. So... We would drive down, we would leave at like, um, it's like a six or seven hour drive um, from Indianapolis. We would leave in Indianapolis about six or, or, no, that's not true. We would leave about 8 p.m. and um, from Indianapolis, and that would put us in Gatlinburg about two or three. And then, of course, when we got there, we couldn't sleep, you know, because we were so excited, and we had just like checked into our cabin. And every year, we would get a new cabin, right? So it would be like, oh my god, and they'd have pool tables and you know hot tubs, and looked over the Smoky Mountains and huge patio, like you know, two story patios that, or not patios, but like decks that looked over the Smoky Mountains. It's gorgeous. The cabins are absolutely gorgeous. And we would have, you know, my mom would make a cup of coffee and we would go sit out on the, you know, the back deck and like, you know, look over the patio and smoke a cigarette or whatever and maybe watch a movie and we would stay up till five or six o'clock in the morning and we would get up on Christmas Eve, you know, and it would be so much fun and we would, um, now my friend Scotty, he went with us a couple years, two years, I think, um, my friend Scotty that passed away. So, you know, what is going on in there? Oh, that was a car wash. It's like, why is it lighting up like that? It's crazy. Um, so we... Okay, it stopped. That time I did hear it, but I was like, I turned to look at the camera and it beeped right when I turned. So maybe that's what it is. If I'm kind of conscious that it's about to stop, I hear it. I don't know. But anyway, so we would get up on Christmas Eve and then we would go and we would um, go down. There was this Kroger that was in um, Pigeon Forge. So we would leave like where our cabin was and we would go down to Pigeon Forge and there was this Kroger right there and we would get all kinds of stuff for the week because we would stay down there for a week, usually. We would stay down there 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. We would stay down there for a week because we would be back before New Year's. And um, usually like we would come back on like the 29th or the 30th, I think. So anyway... This was fun. We would watch movies every night. We would eat food. And we, like, I mean, this was, like, I mean, I'm heavy now. I was super heavy then, too. But, like, that was, like, the epitome of it. I was, like, we would buy, like, sausage biscuits, sandwiches, and chips, and dip, and frozen pizzas. And, I mean, all kinds of crappie you would never even a million years want. And we would just, like, we loaded it all up. And we would have full breakfasts in the morning. And it was so much fun. And we would, like, you know, go to the outlet mall. And we would go play putt-putt golf. And watch, I mean, we watched all kinds of movies all through, you know, it was just fun. We had, like, we would bring movies with us, and, um, because that was when, you know, like, DVD players and stuff, they had DVD players, they had these, like, fake fireplaces that actually put off heat, but they just kind of, like, showed a picture behind there. We would play video games, because they had video game, like, consoles there, and, like, pool tables. It was fun. We had such a great time there. Anyway, that's what we would do, and then on Christmas Eve, we would, like, I think we would go over to the casino, too, in Cherokee, North Carolina. I think we would do that, like, one night. But my mom and I did that. I usually tell that story on Christmas Eve, so I may tell it again on here. Um, but 
we would do that on, like we did it, I think, I don't remember, I always get it confused if it was Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. It was Christmas Eve. And, um, yeah, because the next day that she woke up, she was like, um, I can't remember it, but it was the year before. I should look it up. It was the prime minister of, like, I think Pakistan was assassinated. My mom was, like, literally glued to the television all day long. Um, but anyway, we would, like, you know, just, it was fun. We would just hang out. It was just so beautiful through there, too, you know? And even though, like, there wasn't snow, like, on the ground where we were, because it doesn't really snow, like, in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, at that time of year, like, which is so funny, because Smoky Mountain Christmas is, like, it's, you know, feet of snow, and it looks like snow all through the mountains. But you could see snow, like, in the mountains. Like, there was snow in, the, like, the Appalachian Mountains, um, or the Smoky Mountains, like, not the Appalachian Mountains, the Smoky Mountains. You could see snow. So, like, when you were looking up there, it was still pretty, you know? I remember the first time we went, we were sitting there, and my mom goes, oh, my God, I understand now why they call them the Smoky Mountains, because they literally looks like there's so much fog and stuff that just kind of hangs out that they literally look like they're smoking, like it's on fire or something. They're really pretty. Gatlinburg is, like, hands down one of my favorite places in the entire world. I'd like to do another little weekend trip there. Alex just doesn't like road trips. Like, that's just not his thing. So, maybe Tanya and I will do it some weekend. Yeah, but that's what we used to do down there for Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Day, I don't remember what we would do. I think either, like, made food and then... I don't know if we would, like went out to dinner or what we did. I can't honestly. I can't remember that. But we like all. Oh, we. I remember we took a little Christmas tree down there and we put it up like and uh, decorated it and we would have like a little Christmas there, you know, an open present and stuff. It was real fun. It was really fun. I remember we used to always have Christmas with my aunt and uncle and Caroline before and Mike before we would go because we weren't having Christmas with them. And it was usually it coincided with the Christmases that they, well, the first year it would coincided with the Christmases that they would go to Longboat Key. But then after that, cause they had like a place in Longboat Key, Florida. But after that, we started going every year. So we just missed Christmas with them. It seems like we did. Well, the last year, yeah, because my mom and I went down there the last year, just the two of us. I just loved it. It was so nice. It was this tradition just to get away, and it just was really fun. Like, I really think, like, after this year, Alex and I will probably, if we can afford it, always go away somewhere for New Year's. I don't think we'll probably be here for New Year's again. You know, and it doesn't have to be a beach trip. I mean, it can be, um, I mean, we could, I'd love to do Las Vegas for New Year's one year. Although, I, I heard that Las Vegas is more fun for Halloween. It just got really foggy. Um, I actually heard that... Las Vegas was more fun for New Year's Eve than it was for, um, that was weird. It was just like a patch of fog and now it's gone, but it was really thick for a second. Um, I actually heard that New Year's Eve is more fun, New Year's Eve, Las Vegas is more fun for Halloween than it is for New Year's Eve. I would do Chicago again. Um, I would, I mean, I wouldn't pick to go to Louisville, Kentucky for New Year's. I like Louisville, Kentucky, but I wouldn't necessarily like to do something different. I mean, if I was going to go to a bar or a club, I could do that here in town. You know what I mean? Um, I would love to be like in Paris or London for New Year's. I think that would be fun. I've done London twice for New Year's. Um, well, that's not true. I did... My dad was just talking about this the other day, what the place was called. It was something island. So if I have anybody over there in the UK that watches this, one year for New Year's, we were at a castle in England, and it was on something island. I can't remember what it was called, but my dad was like, do you remember that, what it was called? He remembered it and everything, and I was like, no. And I was like 16 at the time. And it was something island, and it was in the UK. Because we did, like, we went and saw Oxford, we went to London, we, like, went through the countryside. My dad rented a car, and we, like, drove all through the countryside, my dad and my stepmom and I. And then in, for New Year's, we were, like, on this island. I don't know if it was an island or not, but it was called that, something island, and it had a castle on it, and we stayed at this castle and stuff. That was really fun. 
And I remember my stepmom and I, after like they had their like downstairs party and everything like that, we came up to the room and we watched the rose. We stayed up like real late and watched the rose um, with Bette Midler. But anyway, then where else would I like to go? I think Miami would be fun for New Year's. We should maybe do that next year. The thing is, like, to go to Miami, I like to go when it's, like, really warm so you can enjoy the beach and stuff like that. And for me, like, if it's not warm, it's, like, what's the point in going? Like, if you can't really enjoy the beach, which I know is stupid, but it's, like, whatever. I really enjoy the beach. So if it's not super warm, it's, like, well, what, you know what I mean? Where else would I like to go for New Year's? New Year's is like, ever since I've been sober, it's not like, the only year that like, really meant anything to me was the year, like turning from 1999 to 2000. And I remember, at the time, my mom and I were like, cause that was like, you know, what was it called, 2, 2K or something like that. When they were like worried that, like a, the computers, everything was going to stop. The whole world was going to stop. Y2K, Y2K. The, the whole world, year 2000, the whole world was going to stop because like all the computers were set like on this like 1900 thing. So like if it came to 2000, they weren't going to know what to do. And then all the computers, do you remember this? Like it was a big deal. Like, I mean, I had like water stored. I mean, I, I don't know if anybody else did this, but like we all did. Like my friends and I, my mom and my family, all of us had like flashlights in every room, extra batteries. We had, I mean, it wasn't like we were living in a survivalist camp, but we had stuff. Like I can remember, you know, having like a lot of extra food at the house, canned food and stuff like that. Now the battery just came on. So anyway, but that was like, I remember that year they were talking about like the top moments um, in the last 1,000 years, the most profound moments. And my mom and I were like watching it, talking to each other on the phone. And it was like the, the most life changing, uh, no, the, the top 10 moments that had profoundly changed the world in the last 1,000 years. And number one, I'm gonna, I cry every time I say this out loud, so just get ready because I'm gonna get real emotional, but um, number one was the birth of Jesus Christ, and number two was, uh, and it's that one, that one is great if you believe in all of that, whatever, you know, I'm more of a spiritual person, but it's the second one that means something to me. So, because that's pretty profound, okay? That the birth of Jesus Christ, I don't think would surprise a lot of people that that was the number one thing, right? That it profoundly impacted the world. But number two was the um, meeting of Dr. Bob and Bill W. And the start of Alcoholics Anonymous. And like, I think about that, you know, in all of the 12-step programs today as a result of that, you know, it's just like, my God, it's so profound, you know, that, oh, I mean, I wouldn't be here today, you know, probably. And that's just because of me. That's just because of my belief system and being involved in a 12-step program. But I can remember seeing that and just feeling like I was part of something like on such a huge level, you know. And it's just like still to this day, like I'm overcome with like joy about that, like just being part of, you know, and all of the 12-step programs that have come as a result of that, you know, it's fantastic. So anyway, all right, you guys, listen, I'm going to get off here now before my battery dies because I don't really have anywhere to pull over to uh, change the battery. So I hope it doesn't die before I get to the end of it. Um, but um, I love you guys and I hope you are having an amazing Christmas Eve and an amazing, if you celebrate it, an amazing um, Tuesday unless you have other plans. But like I always say, do not have other plans. Make the most of your day. Do something fun today. Really enjoy it. Try not to go into it with any stress or anxiety. Try to really just enjoy Christmas Eve today in the most. Don't fight with your family. You know, just enjoy it. Don't get stressed out. It's just enjoy the day. Just enjoy the moment. And um, try to, at least. I try to. I try to go into things with no expectations. So I just enjoy it the most as I possibly can. And I just try to go along with the ride. Go along for the ride these days. And if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. Make sure that you look at yourself in the mirror every single day and say, I love you. You are important. You matter. You are beautiful. You got this. 2020 is going to be your year. And today is going to be a great day, and this is going to be a great holiday and a great Christmas. And most importantly, make sure that you pass it on to somebody else and let them know how important they are to you. Pick a family member over the holidays and say, I just want to tell you face-to-face -face how much you mean to me. 
and how much I'm glad that you're in my life and how happy I am that you're in my life. And I just want to thank you for allowing me to be, because people allow us to be part of their lives. And that's something that I have learned over time. And um, I can't believe it's let me, I said that and then it died. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you in uh, my next vlog tomorrow. I love you. Merry Christmas. Bye.